right, guys, Red Alert 2 World Series action coming at you. And today I have a crazy match for you guys. I'm giddy just talking about it. This one was an absolute roller coaster ride all the way through the series with an unbelievable finish. We got Legend, the God of Thunder, one of the best players in the world. You guys know him, you guys love him. He's facing off against Quas. Now he's one of those players maybe you guys don't know, but today he's gonna prove to all of us exactly why he should be considered one of the best players in the world and one of the most exciting players in the world. With that, guys, quick reminder, liking, commenting, subscribing, all that stuff's free for you, helps me get Red Alert 2 in front of more people. That's the mission around here, boys, RA to the moon. With that, let's get into the game. Uh, we're doing regular Red Alert 2 vanilla, standard, the regular stuff, the stuff you guys know and love. Easy, simple, best of nine. Loser picking the map. We're starting here off on Mayday. Uh, engineers making some runs here. We got some oils. This map's pretty wacky. We don't see this. Uh, well, we don't see this very often. Uh, to be to be honest, it's kind of a weird one. Very uh, not symmetrical map. Both players do have airports. Both players have these four oils. But then there's these contested four oils in the middle, uh, which the bottom side does kind of get an advantage to get to. Uh, but we'll see. What, we'll see what. Oh, oh. Then there's these four. Ah. The last time I was looking at this map, I was like. Dude, I am doing this totally wrong. I said this totally wrong last time. I kept thinking that the bottom side. Anyway, you guys, too, I'm streaming too much Blitz. I'm just Blitz is making Blitz is Blitz is making my mind soft. It's like commentating with training wheels. Um, so, four oils, four oils, four oils, four oils. Both players get the eight oils. Uh, obviously, still a not symmetrical map. I'm sure there's a lot of players who have who have favorites on this map, nonetheless. But a lot of fun things to do. All the conscripts get their own buildings. Again, you get the airport. All sorts of fun stuff going on here. So. Quas and Legend. Again, yeah, best of nine. Only one map veto. So we'll see definitely a variety of different maps here. The players are picking their own factions uh, with these guys. Definitely expect to see uh, definitely expect to see some Soviet versus Soviet. But we're going to see Legend go early battle lap here. So early battle lap on this map. Now you got to think uh, both players are going to have a pretty hard time getting a good scout early on here. So Quas is going to drop this pair drop right in Legend's base. Uh, that's probably going to be his first look of what Legend has going on. And Legend's hoping on, uh, hoping for that as he goes super early Naval Yard. And uh, and so and Quas opens the cure off. So both players with an absolute uh, massive tech race. Again, not super common in Red Alert 2. Oftentimes you'd more see a of the, of the classic Rhino Wars, but on a map like this, uh, these early choke points and defendable positions, uh, and especially the difficulty of your opponent to get a good uh, scout on you, and of course these starting oils, right? Eight oils to start off a massive economy early on. So Kirov from Quas right off this forward war factory, heading towards Latov's oils, or sorry, not Latov, Legend's oils. Legend now with one flak track in charge of the defensive efforts, two flak tracks and a flak cannon. I was expecting to see a dreadnought, but both players brought the naval yards out almost simultaneously. Uh, so because of that, uh, they're probably going to need to get some squids or try to get uh, get some get some control of the water before just bringing out a blind dreadnought. So that cure does take out two oils, decent value there. Flat tracks, tracks do stop it. Both players now on iron curtains. Bottom right, you can see there the timers. Quas with a uh, uh, Quas with a little bit of an iron curtain advantage here. So the first iron curtain will be for Quas. Para drop bottom right. We do have a squid battle as Legend now brings his cure off into the fight as well uh, and. Quas looks like he's ready to apply some pressure here. He's got an engineer right on the bridge, ready to go. He's gonna, looks like he's about to repair that bridge, but Legend's already there with his own desolator to stop the bridge move. And yeah, this is an interesting one, man. These, uh, these wacky maps like this, I like it. Keeps us on our toes. So Quas does repair the bridge. Now tanks coming over, nice iron curtain. The Kirov takes out the naval yard. This could open up the, um, things for Legend's, uh, Legend's Dreadnought. Now, uh, Quas definitely has the most offensive value here so far, of course. Uh, now taking out a third oil. Going to retreat with those tanks and has the Desolators in now to try to zone things out. But a drone takes out the Desolators. Uh, Legend brings that Kirov back. Um, oh, and now Quas is going to try to destroy that bridge. Not able to. Desolator. Ooh, nice Deso hit. Uh, nice Deso hit does get a little uh, a little bit of chip damage. Not too much, actually. Uh, Legend now attacking. Has a couple flak tracks in that group as well. Quas with plenty of tanks here to hold. And oh, and, but Legend blasts the Iron Curtain. Nice use of the Iron Curtain. Um, Quas over to uh, Nuke as well. Uh, Iron Curtain's going to go down. Quas sells. Quas sells that iron curtain. Yeah, got the battle lab. Uh, got the battle lab as well. Again, guys, if you guys were looking for the force shield there, I know I stream a lot of Yuri's Revenge, a lot of Blitz, where there's a force shield uh, given by the battle lab. Regular Red Alert 2, there is no force shield. Uh, as <laughs> some of the hardcore Red Alert 2 players call it the get out of jail free card. Uh, so the iron curtain does go down for Quas, but Quas now gets in and does take out that fourth oil. Legend loops this cure off all the way around, but Quas does see it. Um, and so I'm surprised to see Legend's the only one in the water right now. Surprised to not see Legend going Dreadnought. Surprise not see oh legend ah legend struggling financially those four oils definitely taking a hit here legend only on 1k quas on 9k quas on 9k both players uh both players on nukes legend has not re 
Oh, sorry, sorry. Quas has not rebuilt his Iron Curtain yet. Okay. So Quas comes home, going to repair his tanks a little bit. And Legends, Kirov. Hey, there's no reason to recklessly send the Kirov into Flak Tracks. If it's not going to make it, don't send it. Let it fight another day. I like it. Uh, so Legend repairs this uh, this bridge. Uh, little things like that. You know, so many things going on. But ultimately, repairing that bridge does make it much easier to get reinforcements to the front lines. Quas with a uh, para drop right into Legend's base. Legend with an Iron Curtain coming. Desolators on the top side to zone out that army. See if Legend tries to IC through that. Legend might want to try to get across this bridge. Now the Dreadnought out for Legend. And Legend, this is tough position. Legend is so broke right now. But he does have the nuke. He does have the Iron Curtain. And now he has a Dreadnought in the fight. But he brings a Dreadnought through that little canal there. So now the Rhinos are countering. And Legend drives right over the bridge through the radiation. He does have this Iron Curtain. He gets his tanks in a pretty good little bundle there. Gets four tanks. Not a perfect Iron Curtain, but but decent. Now Quas on the run now. Uh, the Kirov AFK on the right side. So Legend gets in. He's going to grab a, a War Factory. So Quas, yeah, Quas going to bring a nice counter punch here. Way out tanking and Legend in a lot of trouble. Yeah, Legend's financial troubles there in the mid late game. Uh, definitely caught up with him on his tank production. You tried to get something done with the with the with the dreadnought, not going to work. Quas now pretty much uncontested. Nuke coming as well. So Quas's nuke comes first. Legend puts out. All right, guys. So over two point number two now. Uh, Legend top right. Quas bottom left. Yeah. So any of you guys who have been keeping up with it a little bit, uh, any of you guys who subscribe to Red Alert Two daily, uh, there's a magazine publication that comes out every other week. Kind of keeps you up on all the drama, uh, the hearsay, but it also keeps you up to date on all the different games, all the different stats for each professional player. And then each each week, you also get a, a trading card in the magazine. A trading card, so it'll be like a Marco card, and then you collect all the different cards. I'm kidding, but maybe right? That'd be cool. Red Alert Two weekly the magazine, collect trading cards, comic books. We need it all, man. That's the goal. RA to the moon. Never, nothing is enough. Nothing is enough. Good games, nothing. Get a barn burner, best of nine, good players, not enough. We need a magazine. Anyway, any of you guys who have been keeping up with the Red Alert 2 uh, top division lately, Quas versus Legend last month in Red Alert 2. Uh, Legend beat Quas 5-0. 5 owed him in their prelim game. Uh, but again, Quas is one of those players who he plays a lot one month and then he's gone for a month. So he definitely kind of depends on where he's at, how much he's been playing. This month he's been around a lot. And the one thing I got, I'm really excited about with Quas is that Quas is playing top level Blitz. So this month, guys, the title fight's already decided for Blitz. Quas is going to be playing uh, Latov in uh, the Blitz title fight here next weekend. And that should be an absolute banger. Quas is just, uh, Quas is looking so tough in Blitz. He was actually one of our OG pro Blitz players. He won the uh, Big Little Lake map, I think, like a year and a half ago. Um, but he's he took he hasn't played in a blitz tournament in about a year or so. He's back in it and he's he's looking really tough. Took down Marco, uh, took down Legend. So I'm excited to see uh, Quas versus Latov in Blitz next weekend. Should be a good fight. Uh, but first we gotta get through this one. This miner is droned and doesn't seem to know it. Do you know your drone, buddy? Has anyone told you that you're droned? It only needs one hook drop. Is it gonna get it? Whoa. Whoa. That was close. That was close. Hey, that's Quas made a death robot, man. He doesn't have emotions. He doesn't have feelings. He's got he's got oil pumping through his veins. He makes very calculated decisions. One tick is enough because there's no emotions for him. So both players with the early drone action, early shenanigans here. I like this map. I like the center oils here. Both players get their production off it. Creates some exciting uh, mid-games moves here right down the gut. That's always good. A little run and gun style. Uh, does everyone have four-letter names? That's a good question. No. Uh, but... It'd be nice if they did. Uh, sticker albums, pro units. Yes, exactly, exactly. Who is the oldest? Uh, y who is the oldest YouTuber on Red Alert Two? Um, that's a good question. Does anyone know? Does does is Kike? Did Kike or Brian start uh, streaming first? I'm not sure. Kike and Brian. One of Kike or Brian, I think, would be the t uh, the oldest, longest streaming players or streamers. So Legend now, a little bit of a split. Three tanks, bottom side, going to go minor hunting. Quas matches even. Come down to who gets the first shot off down there, or uh, if uh, Quas able to get a sentry gun into the fight. Legend with a little bit more of a presence here in the middle. Some dogs in as well. Yeah, Quas has been pretty active in QM. Yeah, this month, Quas is looking really, really tough. But like I said, you had to get 5-0'd last month. Doesn't mean anything, man. 
Quasa. If Quasa's playing heavily one month, uh, he's one of the best players in the world. And I think Quasa's one of those names a lot of players don't know as much, particularly, you know, players who watch more casually on YouTube, just catch the highlights. You know, you always hear names like Legend and Marco, just because they're more active, you see them more often. Even Kian and Laptop, I think, are names that are a little bit more of household names. Uh, if you do watch a lot of top level regular two, particularly on my channel. But Quas, man, he's uh yeah, when he's when he's on, he's he's on and he's right there with these guys. Uh, absolutely no joke. Nice sentry gun from Quas is gonna hold that attack bottom side. Uh, so Legend gets absolutely no value there on the bottom. Legend continuing to uh to, to keep a presence here on the on the in the middle, just waiting for Quas maybe to, to make a little lapse in judgment here. Both players with dogs and rhinos now. Three war factories for Legend and Legend. Yeah, so three war factories for Legend. Legend moving the MCV. Quas now moving his MCV. So two war factories. So ah, war factory advantage here for Legend. Legend again going to bring a little split. Four tanks to the bottom side. Quas's MCV is a bit exposed. And this is going to be a come down to a foot race here. Every second counts, and, Le and Legend doesn't choose it. And those are such hard decisions, right, guys? That's what makes a good player a great player. Right there, you know, 9 out of 10 people would click that MCV, right? It's just too juicy. It's an exposed MCV. You got four tanks. You go for it. You know, it's just so tempting. Uh, but at the top level like that, to, to so quickly analyze that position and be like, hey, if I click on this MCV, his reinforcements are going to come. They're going to destroy all my tanks. I'm going to get nothing. And so Legend instead decides to bring his reinforcements back to the center now. No splits on the field. Everyone here ride or die in the center. Uh, maybe a little bit of a fodder advantage for Legend, but it looks like Quas is evening that out. Legend with a little bit more money in the bank at the moment. He did have that War Factory advantage for a minute there and still does have a War Factory advantage. So I'm surprised to not see this converting to a better... Uh, even better tank position for Legend. Uh, he's had that third War Factory for a significant longer time here, uh, but has lost a couple of tanks uh, on a couple of those little uh, probing missions early on. Now that forward barracks from both players, uh, juicing things up here. Yeah, well, this uh, this could certainly come down to just one big crescendo fight here in the center. As I say that, Quas decides to take things on his own terms. Nice five tank split going top side. Uh, gonna try to pick on some miners, pull Legend out of position. Legend a little bit slow to respond and only grabs two tanks to do it. Uh, these two tanks, I don't think those two tanks were the right the right uh, men for that mission. I need a little bit more firepower up there. Now a couple more rhinos joining the fight. Does get one. I think he got one miner there. Did he get one miner? I think he did get one miner. Okay, yeah. Now eh, a bit of a wash here topside. Eh, Quas gonna eh, Quas keeps a couple tanks alive topside. Uh oh yeah, like the oldest, the original, like the oldest, oldest. Uh, and we do have, so Quas does sell the MCV. I think Legend sold as well here. Yeah. So both players sell it. I think you see that quite a bit on this map towards kind of towards the late game. Um, you know, once you have a few War Factories out. Although kind of interesting, Quas sells on two War Factories. And again, Legend, Legend sells, but he's on a third War Factory. If Legend can keep money in the bank. Again, that should be converting over to a tank position. But two to three War Factories, not a massive difference, but... And so you'd, you'd think, you'd think Legend, if this comes down to a, a marathon, I think Legend should be in a better position here. Um, now again, yeah, but both players paying, giving each other a lot of respect here. Uh, this is oftentimes, you know, situations like this, this is not about the first player to, to hit a home run, it's about the first player to make a mistake losing. I think both these guys definitely know that, and they, they know that this, this is an opponent that's going to make them pay for it as soon as they step out of line here. Um, so now top and bottom. Yeah, so the oldest, uh, the oldest just like, the player who streamed the longest ago, I, I was thinking more of like the streamer who's active right now, who still streams. Um, I would think would be either Brian or uh, or uh, Brian or Kike. Although I guess I don't know some of the some of the the player versus computer streamers like Green Elf and Scorched Earth and Zoom Three Thousand. Uh, I guess I don't know how long some of those guys have streamed for. I think Brian started streaming like almost ten years ago, right? I think some of Brian's original videos are almost 10 years old. Okay, four tanks caught out of position top side. Legend decides to go down the gut here. Both players throwing fodder in front. I think Quas with a pretty sick. I think Quas gonna come out of a fodder. Oh, Quas has a lot of fodder on the back side here, not in the fight now. Uh, let's see if Legend can get into a position to run these dogs over. And this is just an absolute mosh. 
Um, it does look like Legend going to be pulling ahead here. Yeah, Quas is going to start a little bit of a retreat. Legend pulling way ahead now. Yeah, the Quas's fodder was a little bit late to the party there. Uh, little things like that. But again, Legend had a tank advantage there. Um, and Quas uh, on the bottom side, Legend had, must have had a little bit of a split down there. So Quas had a few tanks. But again, that's a two, 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 fa two war factory, a three war factory. As I say that, Quas now bundling up his tanks on the bottom will give him an advantage. But Legend split off now on the top side. Miner hunting gets a couple miners and gets a two pack there. Quas feels the pressure and quits out. And Legend puts one up. Very nice. Yeah, Ed, I forget, man. I forget. Ed had some of those, like, Ed still has, like, some of those OG. I think he still has, like, some of those, like, pro pro level videos, like, like pro 1v1s and stuff with commentary. I think he has, actually, some of the, the highest, uh, highest views, oldest videos on, on YouTube. And Ed's still around, man. Ed's a ride or die. Ed's a true champion of the Red Alert 2 cause. Uh, and you guys who want to check out Ed's stuff, uh, the Red Alert 2.com slash Ed. That's his Twitch channel, but he's on YouTube as well. If I put this, this video will end up on YouTube. I'll probably put Ed's uh, link in the description. He's got some. Uh, got, he's, it's fun to watch some of those old players, some of those names that you still recognize, some of the names that you don't know of. Uh, it's crazy. There's been a lot of lot of player turnover over the years. Certainly, well, I mean, obviously, two decades of of action. Uh, yeah, the Clan Two v Two ladder. So, any of you guys again who don't subscribe to Red Alert Two Weekly, if you don't get that magazine, you might not be up to date. But the cover story this week was. Clan ladder, it's finally here. People go crazy. Other thing. That was the title of the cover story. So the clan ladder, guys. So any of you guys who play Red Alert 2, you guys, quick match is basically, it's it's a 24-7 thing. You can queue up. It matches you in a game. You play your you play opponents. You can play Yuri's Revenge. You can play Blitz. You can play Red Alert 2. There's different game modes. So that's what people play. They play quick match. It's like a monthly thing. Now, for a long time, everyone said, when's it going to be the 2v2? When can we have 2v2 quick match? When can we have 2v2 quick match? And finally, it happened. 2v2 uh, quick match is is in the beta version. Service Depot out, deal with that drone. Uh, so it's in the beta version. It's being tested right now, but it is a thing. It is coming, and it will be active very, very soon. Um, uh, and, and yeah, so basically, like, you, you, so you get it. You join a clan. You can be in multiple clans. So, for example, like... Like the clan, like me and Paf's clan is uh, team drink the tears of our enemies. So team drink the tears of their enemies, right? Me and Paf are in the clan. Maybe we invite slowly RA2. Uh, maybe we invite, maybe we invite Ed. Maybe we invite Ed. Maybe we invite Nightbot. We get everyone in a clan together, right? Then me and Paf are like, yo, let's go drink the tears of our enemies. So we queue up. Now, all of a sudden, let's say Marco and Legend are in a clan. So their their clan is, is, is team Noobface. They queue up. Boom. Me and Path, we play Marco and Legend. We get queued up in a game. We play a 2v2. Me and Path obviously win. Um, we drink the tears of Marco and Legend. And, uh, well, that's, I mean, I guess that's it. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you guys didn't even need any of that story. Did I have to say anything there? 2v2 ladder. I think you guys can figure it out. But, uh, obviously, early game like this, instead of counting miners, I might as well just pull random stories out of my ass. But, yeah, so 2v2 ladder, pretty exciting Um it doesn't just match you up randomly, though. You do need to join a clan, but you can be in three different clans. So it should be fun. I'm excited to see because it's been an ongoing joke. If you guys are, like, in the Discord and stuff, people have been begging and asking about the 2v2 ladder every day for years. <laughs> and so it's finally here, and I'm excited to see. I think um, I think this game, I think the 2v2s and stuff, uh, team games is, like, an, it's just a whole other level of excitement. I mean, you know, kind of an older game like this, keeping things fresh. Um, for both the players and the spectators. Team games are awesome, but they are very difficult to organize, particularly, you know, the 2v2 tournaments and things like that take a lot of work. Uh, just doubles the chances of a player not showing up, rage quitting, lagging. But uh, but for something more casual, like the latter, I think it'll it'll definitely be really, really cool. Uh, you get you join the clans. You join clans, and then you you, you can join up to three clans, and then... Um, and then you you queue up. You just have to queue up at the same time as one of your clan mates, and then you'll match another clan. Uh, RA, you can only buy one of each tower. A command and conquer game where you could only buy one of each defensive tower was that a thing? I'm not sure. All right, let's get back to the game here now. Both players kind of converging here in the center. Two, four, so five war factories for Legend top side. Uh, four war factories for Quas. So again, Legend with the war factory advantage. It worked out for him last game. We'll see if he can pull it out this one as well. Uh, this game definitely more ore out here. You saw that last game. That last map kind of plays interesting and map to map like this. Now these guys know these maps. These are tried and true maps. They are picking them, but they're picking maps these guys have literally played hundreds of times. And it's interesting to note that the way the maps play and a big part of it is how much ore there is now of course the ore does regenerate over time 
but you know how how accessible it's going to be when you're going to start to run out on it and how many war factories you can get and pump before then you build 10 war factories you run out of ore obviously that's not going to help anything uh, big map like this lots of economy early on lots of ore look at all these different miners on the different patches uh, and you can definitely get a nice war machine uh, pump in full speed behind you here six war factories now legend going for an mcv move as i say that legend is putting himself broke uh, so legends oh legends production no he's okay he's actually doing a pretty good job here uh, Quas again, five War Factory. So Legend with a little bit of advantage. He's going to try to split things up here. Uh, see if he can take advantage of his tank numbers. So many dogs for both players. Neither of these guys going radar tech. So just allowing these dogs to kind of fight things out for themselves. Quas again with a fodder advantage. Legend's economy is caught up with him nicely here. Now 6k in the bank. And again, still has that War Factory advantage, which uh, theoretically should be converting over to a, to a lead here. Uh, Quas, <laughs> ah, the dogs, man. I'm trying to think, if we did, what could we change the dogs to that would make more sense? You know, like, instead of just having dogs run around, what if we did the exact same mechanic, but we made it something different? I think armored bears would make the most sense. Uh, so Legend gonna clean up on the top side. Quas now pushing through on the bottom. Uh, Legend does, okay, so Legend pulls ahead just barely there on the top side. Yeah, okay. I think armored bears. I think armored bears. Or what about armored rhinos? What if the Soviet army, the rhino tanks, had armored rhinos? And then what if the allied army had had armored bears? We'd have to kind of go in and change the lore a little bit. Yeah, I think we'd have to change the lore of that a little bit. Quas does sell his MCV now. Going for broke. Going full send here. Big engagement in the center. Both players lose all of their fodder. Quas has one dog on the back lines. He's hiding. He doesn't want any of this. Uh, Quas now pumping some dogs from the barracks. So the defensive advantage here. Going to come in big. And Quas does pull ahead here. Legend going down. Quas the death robot. And Legend, that time again, War Factory advantage through uh, through most of that game. But yeah, again, it's not just about the numbers of tanks in those positions. It's about what you do with them. Quas, uh, it is 2-1. It is best of nine. Apex drops the follow. He's a believer. He's a Quas legend find. Find? Quas legend find? What's that mean? Quas legend fan. Sometimes if I'm reading something and then I say something, I say a nonsensical word. It's one of my weaknesses, one of my weaknesses in life. Lights are flashing, what's happening? Another sub, a Link Bane with the sub as well. Appreciate the support, appreciate it, appreciate it. So again, guys, this series is loser picking the map, players picking their own factions. We are gonna see Legend go allied here for the first time in the series. Uh, Quas up 2-1. Um, yeah, you guys gonna try to get a potato going? It only takes like 12 of you to say potato. If 12 of you guys say potato, you'll spawn a potato. You guys missed it the other day. Who was here for it? The other day we spawned a unicorn potato. The unicorn potato got spawned. Oh um, my god, what And a barber, Ed got 20 bucks. Boys. If you guys spawn the unicorn potato, someone gets 20 bucks. It's as simple as that. Uh, early MCV move Marco here from Legend. Potato. Oh, Marco Potato. Hey, perfect timing. The Marco, look how happy Marco Potato is. That's kind of, that's my picture of Marco in real life. Just a happy guy who's trying to cut your throat. Yeah, Marco. Marco Potato. Hey, you guys don't get anything from Marco Potato, unfortunately, um, except maybe some happiness. You get a little bit of happiness. Made me happy. Hope it made you guys happy. So Quas with that early MCV move. Again, Legend going allied here, so we're going to see a very different uh, different look. A couple of Rockies downfield to be annoying. Of course, the Rhinos are coming out, chipping away at the Rhinos. I like that. I like that. Uh, Marco, there's many different potatoes, Marco. There's 20 different potatoes. So when, when, when enough people say the word potato, you can only do it every 30 minutes. If enough people say the word potato, it spawns a potato. Now, there's different potatoes. You might get ninja potato. You might get Marco potato. You might get bird potato. Nothing happens unless you get the unicorn potato, in which case someone gets 20 bucks. Again, the unicorn potato only has a 2% chance of happening. But it did happen the other day. Ed got 20 bucks. It was epic. It was as crazy as it sounds. The Harrier hovering, hovering, hovering. Oh, it gets it, but it gets it, but doesn't kill it. Poor Harrier. He tried so hard. He hit the flag track. The flag track didn't die. Trying to open things up for that Rocketeer. The flag track does stay alive. Early on, man, uh, Allied and Soviet. Regular Red Alert 2 Allied versus Soviet is one of my favorite game modes to watch. Um, a good Allied player. It's just, there's so many things that they have to, you know, using the Rockies and managing the Harriers and the Grizzlies. And of course, the Soviet player having to, to micro their their flag, uh, their flag tracks, keeping those alive. Uh, it's, it's it's a lot of fun to watch when when two players uh, go to go to work with Allied versus Soviet. There's a few different ways that, that the game can go as well, depending on the map. Paradrop in the base, cleaned up by those dogs and a sentry gun, nothing there. And Legend does start to put himself broke. Of course, the name of the game for the Allied player is trying to not go broke. Uh, there's just so many things you want to buy, so many toys that you want to get, uh, but you don't have the money for it. 
uh, especially early game like this. So Legend uh, forgets that he doesn't have Rhinos, decides to attack, now retreats with the Grizzlies because they're made of paper mache. The Rocketeer dies, and um, you gotta think Legend's hopes and dreams seeping through his fingers right now. But he's okay. He's over to Battle Lab Tech now, and he's done a good job of keeping the pressure on Quas's side of the map. Early on as allied, you don't have to go to value town you don't have to take out the mcv you don't have to get a three pack on war factories as long as you can kind of just keep the soviet players slowed down a little bit and maybe just a little bit contained early on while you take some time to get over to uh to tech and get some of those goodies out we do have a spy ife now coming from from legend can easily swing a game defensive para drop as well uh, i think quas knows you know once the ally player starts going over to tech it's time to go to work for the soviet player try to make something happen here um oh 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 the ifv the ifv on the run the IFV on the run, the drone's now hunting. Uh, so this, uh, again, guys, is one of those things that can easily swing the game here. Sells the War Factory. Oh, oh, sells another War Factory! <laughs> and that is absolutely tremendous value. And you saw Quas there not, not even considering uh, allowing himself to get spied. It's not an option. Once the opponent starts building veteran mirages, it's the beginning of the end for the Soviet player. Uh, but that's that's value on its own. It's forcing the sell on two war factories is exactly what you want against the Soviet player. A very, very nice move from Legend there. And what was crazy is Quas saw it, right? Quas was uh, tracking that spy the whole way. And Legend says, hey, it worked once. It's going to work again. Let's go downfield. MJ with the raid. My guy, my guy, my guy. MJ with the raid. Appreciate it. You guys are just in time, man. We got the action rolling here. Radar out for Quas. He's looking to get a little weird maybe get some tech going get some desos in the fight the rhinos do slowly start losing value as you get into the late game versus mirage tanks of course you need to get those desolators in the fight you need to get a deso bomb going to counter those mirage tanks another spy ife the drone a great counter it is drone now and that's not going to work that dog tried to blend in hey i'm just a regular dog don't mind me of course everyone knows he's a spy dog because he moves slower so I think that's one thing we can consider in this game. Instead of the spy looking like a dog, I think the spy should be more like a World of Warcraft druid, and it should turn into a dog. And in that case, the mechanics, of course, you should run faster as a dog. That's an important issue that I have with the game. Berg, if you can write that down, I would like the spy to act more like a Warcraft, World of Warcraft druid um, instead of a regular world war you know like modern day spy i don't think that makes sense to me okay pulls these miners away from these gems you see legend looking to apply some pressure here both players scraping the bottom of the barrel an expensive fight these guys have found themselves in uh legend bottoming out for so long legend bottoming out for so long now in some cases if one of your miners is worth if you're bottomed out in some cases it can be worth it to micro one of your miners home uh to dump uh, to dump some ore, even if it's only a half, uh, half, uh, half fill, just to keep yourself from being on zero for so long. So Legend pulls back to a defensive position. And he's got a pretty nice base right now, defense-wise. Both of his entry points um, are an elevation advantage for the defender. Now Legend eventually will have to come out of this zone, but he's got a while. He's still got some nice ore in his base, and he's over to ore purifier as well. So um, yeah, Legend's got to be feeling a little bit comfortable right here, and the ball definitely in Quas's court to try to make something happen. Quas has some desolators. Does he have a deso bomb in this group? I assume one of these flak tracks is a deso bomb, but no deso bomb coming for the moment. The Mirage is standing and gunning down, uh, and Quas gets his tanks a little bit spread out coming through that bottleneck, but Quas has a big Rhino advantage here, and the deso bomb comes out. Uh, the Rhinos will start to pop here. It's going to be tough. Oh, and Legend gets himself on that radiation. Legend does has a hard time getting off that radiation. Couple pillboxes in the fight. A lot of smoking grizzlies. Only thing worse than a regular grizzly is a smoking grizzly. Uh, both are bad. Uh, smoking grizzlies are worse. Elite grizzly joins the fight now. Uh, Legend sells the MCV. These GIs getting a lot of value, chipping away at Quas's reinforcements. A bit too busy to realize they were being routed through there. Legend holds that attack. Uh... Tough position, though. Now, Legend sold the MCV. I think that was a good move. Oh, Legend got a spy in. Damn it. I missed it. Legend got a spy in. Oh, he might have just got a spy in. The IFE's still there. So that was Legend's third attempt with the spy. He did get the spy in. So Legend now building Vet Grizzlies. Vet Grizzlies are nice, man. Uh, vet Grizzlies. The nice thing about Vet Grizzlies, they turn into Elite Grizzlies. Elite Grizzlies are nasty business, but even the Vet Grizzlies get a nice little boost here. Look at these things zipping across the map zipping across the map that's the word for that you're thinking Ivor what's the word for a grizzly moving like that zipping 
Uh, Legend, nice little in and out. Gonna take advantage of his speed here. Um, I like the idea. Doesn't need to be careful. This is not a uh, uh, not a batch of rhinos to not respect. Certainly, Legend needs to be a little bit careful here, but um, taking advantage of his speed in the open field, and he's got a nice batch of grizzlies and money in the bank as well. He's got everything he needs: three war fact, four war factories, barracks, two barracks, and an AFC, and an economy functioning behind him, and a spied war factory. Very, very, very nice. Uh, so, fun fact. Wait, oh, GI's pushing in topside, gonna grab a War Factory, and this is Allied. This is what Allied can be, man. And this is what it takes. This is what it takes. People say, why don't we see more Allied? Why don't we see more Allied? Why don't we see more Allied? The reason you don't see more Allied is because this is what it takes to win with Allied. You gotta go a third attempt with a Spy. You gotta, you gotta use your Paradrop. You gotta use your Harriers. You gotta use your Rockies. You gotta use everything in your arsenal. Uh, you gotta do it all perfectly. You can't make mistakes. And a, maybe even a little bit of luck involved sometimes as well. We've certainly seen games where everything's clicking for the allied player, and then the rhino power just bulldozes through like a bull in a china shop. Uh, yeah, so Legend gonna use a split. I like this move. Uh, take advantage of his speed here. Gonna get back on the backside. We'll dive on that MCV. That MCV should melt. Splits off a couple of his tanks. Doesn't want to get all of his tanks caught out of position. Ooh, a couple tanks strung out weirdly on that top side. A little too fast for their own good. Uh, so he does get the MCV. So now we'll see if Legend considers just pulling back and taking a breath here. Now Quas does. Eh, Quas does have a service depot. Is it viable for Quas to rebuild right now? Oftentimes you'll. I have players ask. Why is there no service depot? Why didn't he rebuild the MCV? And oftentimes it's that the building the MCV is so slow and so expensive that by the time you rebuild it and get it out, da 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 da, it's just not really a viable option in the in the heat of, a, of an intense game. A couple Rockies in the fight. Legend trying to click down those flat tracks, open things up for those Rockies as well. It's a lot of vet Grizzlies, man. And Legend hops up on that cliff, gets the higher ground. Uh, but you just see Legend not letting himself get cornered here, just continuing to go uh, run laps around Quas with his extra little speed here. And I love I love that move. Quas on the ropes, man. Quas in trouble. Uh, Legend brings that paradrop into the fight as well here. Yeah, it's not, uh, again, this is a scary amount of rhinos. You know, Legend doing, again, doing so many things right, but it's jazz, right? Allied is jazz. It's a boop bop, a boop bop, a beat up, a beat up. You gotta jump in, you gotta jump out, you gotta do that right, you can't do that wrong. Rhinos, rock and roll. Reckless. You gotta have the jazz, gotta have the finesse, gotta have the tact. Legend brings it out. Allied OP, boys. Allied OP. Berg nerf allied. There's 130 of you in here. If 100 of you guys say the word nuke in 60 seconds, someone gets 50 bucks. Here's the thing. You're thinking, Ivor, that sounds reckless. $50 is a lot of money. I don't I don't believe in you guys. That's the reality. Uh, here's the thing. 130? Uh, you can not, that's 100 of you? I don't believe in you guys. I'm sorry. I don't have faith. Um, so, MJ. MJ in the house. We got Quas playing France here and Legend playing uh, Soviet. What do you think? Who you favor here, MJ? What, how do you feel about France on this map? I I love France on this map. The the thing is, I don't know how well Quas can execute a France. I don't know if you've seen Root or Luke Z play France on this map. It is toxic. One of the most toxic things ever. <laughs> so they basically get the lighthouse first and foremost, garrison that. That also cure the entire map control of their top side or their bottom side. And then they base walk with France. And the Soviet player has to go zero or has to all the game rush. If they don't, they're going to get fucked by cannons right up the bum. So they need to pressure it all down. But I've I rarely see Quas go front, so that's the thing that I'm worried about. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, Quas as France isn't one as expected. Yeah, I mean, if you, with some of those players you mentioned, Luke, Jaws, uh, maybe Andy, yeah. or some of those kind of players that you know are really known for their canon shenanigans. Uh, but yeah, you don't expect it so much from Quas. Uh, but but I like that these guys are getting a little weird. And this is a best of nine, so these guys oh. have a little bit more breathing room uh, to experiment a little bit here and give each other different looks. So Legend going allied last time, Quas going allied this time. Always fun to see Nighthawk out now oh. for Quas. But that's gonna put him. Oh 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 no. Three engineers, MJ. Oh god, that's a risk. That is the big risk. So I, I, I think Quas should have probably expected a zero from from Legend a little bit early on. So those engineers would have probably needed to either be delayed or protected a little bit more. But this is some scarily scary early game pressure here from Legend. Yeah, he knows I think what to do. And I think it's exactly what to do, right? A France player, you know the shenanigans are coming, you know their weaknesses early on. Oh, and look at that in Legend. <laughs> no, <laughs> what? Who is this? Uh, like, and Legend grabs the oil and builds a sentry gun. So in uh, in uh, Red Alert 2 here, um, wait, is engineering on or off? Uh, it's, it's, oh, it's oh right, oh, right. You can only engineer tech on. buildings. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Correct. Yeah. So, you, yeah, so you can't engineer each other's buildings in, in Red Alert 2, uh, with, you know, the way it's played at the, at the current top level, but you can take each other's tech. So Quas does hold that. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, he holds it really well and he, he managed to sneak an engineer on the bottom left. So he can build the barracks and get a, a, the other oil. So that's a really good hold by a Quas wow. actually. Legend maybe oh he leads. Legend maybe okay. just aggressing a little bit too much here. And now Quas has a lot of wiggle room to play with. And if you see that AFC coming up next, you know what's coming. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Yeah, and so he does grab that one oil. Now we're gonna go down and get another oil. And of course, Quas, you know, getting these corners and grabbing these oils, getting a nice uh, hit to his... Yeah, I mean, you want to get that. You want to get that economy. France is France is an expensive, an expensive gambit. The cannons are expensive. You got to pump power behind it. So these oils are definitely what Quas wants. Yeah, Legend. I mean, Legend had to go in early. He didn't get the value he needed after getting that three pack mm -hmm. on the engineers. Yeah, Quas. This could be a little tr tricky. Barracks walking itself out. Yeah, I think at this stage, when you've failed the early game pressure, this is where Legend should go tech. And you see that yeah. radar coming out. So I assume a lab and an IC is about to come on next. Yeah, I the, see. The next question yeah. is that how well can he hold for that IC? Is it going to have enough time? Yeah, and Quas and Quas, nice discipline there, not getting greedy. He does bring out a defensive cannon first. You saw Legend was like, oh, he's he's base walking on this side. I'll try to backdoor mm -hmm. on this side. I love Quas's defensive cannon there. He has the time, um, but here comes the base stretch. Yeah, Kirov can be a nice counter as well. The battle lab is out for Legend, but uh, will he have the time? Four oils now for Quas as well on the top right. Quas on I, I think Legend's fucked there. Yep. Oh, Dreadnought? Does, gets the Kirov out. Oh, yeah, go, let's go Naval. Maybe a Dreadnought coming as well. The Rockies, yeah, not going to matter. Oh, there you go. Wow. Oh, that's, yeah. that's an interesting one. You guys who want to see something a little different. Yeah. But then, I mean, well, also the other thing with it too is we know, like, if Kian grinds for a week, he'll be right back on his level again. So yeah. it's kind of hard, like, once you're like that. Like, Kian, you're the kind of player where it's like, if you grind for a week, you're going to be playing putting up points against the best players in the world. So I can't really just start scheduling show matches with you against, uh, you know, random B-classers. But anyway, all part of the uh, all part of the fun here. So uh, back to Soviet <laughs> versus Soviet. These guys are taking on a nice little deviation to Weird Town with a couple allied looks here. Now back to some tried and true Rhino Wars. Do uh, you think either this map favors either of their styles any, any, any more than the other? These guys kind of similar in a lot of ways, but... Yeah, if this was Marco, I would definitely put him up because this is one of Marco's favorite maps because of the builds. And I think every single time Reconcile has been played on any show match, I always reference the Marco build. But I, I, I think Legend should know this build pretty well. He actually plays this map quite quite often. And I think top left is the favorite spot here. So where Legend is expanding right now with his MCV, he'll expand just slightly to the left of the trees there. And then he can place the barracks to the right, just in that small little, like between the trees. From there, you can go War Factory and War Factory and Power Plants and stretch all day towards the gems on their uh, top uh, side and to that choke point. And then from there, he can move down towards the bottom left. Uh, and in the the situation, he'll need to either move his MCV twice or risk the... Yeah, he has to move his MCV again. Oh, and this... that sort of risk uh, slows oh. down the entire build. God, that was to top left. Maybe, oh, he just saw that drone coming, I think. And, yeah, and yeah, he got a little scared. And coming through this area, when you trek through these hills here, you're a little bit exposed. You know, if you see it, if you're in flat ground, you see a drone coming, you can deploy it. But coming through these hills would have been a little bit tricky. So nice map awareness yeah. there from Quas, not sending the MCV out to dry. Service depot. He didn't have a service depot out either. He would have lost that MCV. Uh, but mm -hmm. does does get the drone. Okay, so now moving the MCV. Yeah, little things like that do make a difference on these maps. I mean, like you said, the, the, having to move the MCV um, multiple times like that slows down your build. Uh, yeah, Legend is going to stretch over to those gems. Should give him a little bit of an edge. It, it could be just a map as well, because the bottom, bottom spawn is very tight compared to top. Top is a lot more flatter. You have more wiggle room to, like, deploy, panic deploy your MCV if you oh, need to. Oh, yeah. Bottom side, not really much. It's, yeah, it's you're risky. right. Yeah, more more room to panic deploy. That's a good point. It's a good point. Oh, yeah. Panic deploy. Yeah, uh, I, I, I don't know if you know the, the drone, the panic deploy drone. If a drone gets into your MCV as you deploy it, the drone will cancel out and just uh, disappears into thin air. Oh, gosh. So they, can, they can do the thing or, or the glitch or, or, or sorts. I, it's not more of a glitch. It's just kind of like a skill thing. I don't well, know. yeah, because a drone, I mean, imagine a drone in a whole deployed MCV. He can only get so much done before he gets tired. I mean, it's yeah. different. It doesn't, you know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, smoking, you're going to bring this drone back to the service depot. That's hilarious. Good. Very frugal. Very frugal of, uh, of Quas there. Legend now a couple tanks, uh, a couple tanks and a drone here on the right side. Um, yeah, someone kind of asking about the Kian thing. Yeah, I kind of talked about this in the beginning of the stream, but you know, you talk, you have players like uh, you have players that I don't know. I get, and then again, this is and then I, I started talking that everyone was like, you know, you're wrong about how players are old and how long <laughs> they've been around. But anyway, the point is, generally speaking, I'll just I'll I'll try to be as ambiguous as possible here. Kian, if Kian is not playing a ton in a month, um, his skill level I think drops a lot faster than some other okay. players who 
you know, Marco, you know, even if he's not playing much QM, he can hop in and do his thing. Uh, Kian, if he's not grinding QM, I think we have seen his skill drop off a little bit. And it's just a month to month, week to week. Again, it's not to say Kian's a weak player. If Kian grinds and gets in QM for a week, he'll be right back in here putting up points against these guys. As it is currently, uh, you guys just saw him play Latov. You know, he's just not, he's not quite there at the moment. Also, Kian has a girlfriend though, so it's completely distracted from RE2. Girlfriend, girlfriend? Yeah. I know, I hear all these things, <laughs> girlfriends and jobs and families and stuff. It's so weird. I'm like, dude, what is wrong with you guys? Does anyone uh, care? I think Kian, Kian's girlfriend is actually real. It's not some anime waifu that probably Ludwig has. There's oh, an actual girlfriend, an actual person. Ah, uh, so real. So it's completely distracted. Well, I guess. Okay, at least it's a real girlfriend then. Um, yeah. Okay. okay. All right, MJ. When was when was the first time you remember Kian playing a show match against like an S class an S class player? Ooh, did he play that in was Bal's quite tournament? A while ago. Did he did he play in Bal's tournament two year two years ago was Bal's tournament right two two years and like a few months. That was Bal's big arm uh, uh, big tournament. That, that was the big think, that was when a lot of us saw Woody for the first time and stuff. Yeah, um, yeah. That was that big tournament. Did Kian play in that? I think. I think he was still like A class back then. I don't think he played in that tournament actually. Like when I, I, I don't first quite remember. when I first started streaming two years ago, I was not running show matches with uh with Kian. It's not like I was doing like Legend and Marco and Zane mm -hmm. and those kind of guys, yeah. but like Kian was not in those discussions when I started streaming, I thought two and two and a years and a few months ago. Berg says Kian's been playing for six years. That's what Berg says. <laughs> I don't know, man. He's like 18, though, so six years ago would be like 12. That's no way, man. <laughs> That's why we call him the Octo no way Kid, he's man. Soul. That's why we call him the Octo Kid. Um, <laughs> but I do need to watch myself because I am I am known to exaggerate a little bit in the name of hype. Yeah. Um, I think I, 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 I have gotten I have found myself a few times. Kian is actually aging in reverse. A couple times, Kian started getting <laughs> younger and younger every time I hyped him up. This kid, 15 years old, 14, 13, <laughs> 9 years old in the finals. MCV, oh, nice and prodigy, exposed. Man. MC, uh, <laughs> MCV, and I like the Quas pushing right into Legend. I like daring Legend to come in here. And we're going to see the yeah. crescendo. This map always has that big end game crescendo. I think it's coming. Smell it. I, I think Quas might get a Barretts out here and then move. Yep, there you go. The Barrett's for fodder, yep. really pressure up for. He is gonna sell. I'm gonna move MCV here. I think he's gonna sell. Oh, look at him! Nice sentry guns as well. Mad adoring that MCV, daring Legend to try to take a bite right now. Quas is broke. Legend's broke. Both players broke. Uh, Legend did Legend already sell? Oh no! Did, wait, did Legend sell? Yeah, he did. Backside? Yeah, Legend sold the backside. Both players smoking it to the filter right now, just pumping those dogs. And look at the money. Both players, uh, Quas, yeah, bottoming out. What do you think? Should Quas be selling here? I, I think he should. When when Legend starts to attack that MC, yeah. that's when he should sell. Because right now he could use some sentry guns yeah, to you're defend right. against this. <laughs> yeah, especially if the sentry guns can swing things on the fodder end. Uh, yeah, uh -oh. Quas, defensive advantage here. The dogs pumping to the front sides a little bit late with the fodder. Oh, that's rough. Yeah, we're not seeing any fodder coming up from Quas as well. But this tank could engage yeah. is really rough. But Quas being broke for so long, I don't think yeah. it helps that situation. So he probably would have been better to sell early. So you have more production there, right? Nice, thank you. Yeah, if you could have pumped a few more dogs, he had him coming a little bit late there. Maybe just thought that MCV would buy him a little bit more time than it did. Legend comes yeah. out on top. Hey, brings us to 3-3. I like that. Mm. Such a, the vast majority of my time streaming Blitz, and um, I really do... Uh, it's just easier, I mean, right? Because it all fits on one screen. So, like, the yeah. scrolling yeah. around parts of it... Um, I regularly lose MCVs. I lose a lot of MCVs, MJ. <laughs> it's just, it just is what it is. I lose a lot of MCVs. Oh, I've been in your position so many <laughs> times, man. The, the amount of times people have called me out for bad, bad, uh, bad camera work, especially a, a certain someone with a name of Z, uh, <laughs> start with Z, has called me out so many times for bad camera work. I was like, fuck this, I'm just going to focus on camera work. I'll, I'll put on my casting later. Yeah, yeah. And, and that, like, I, 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 I got, it's like I, I post this game to YouTube and YouTube people chat is like, why the fuck are you moving so much? Stay still, stay still. I'm like, no, I need to see what's happening on the map, man. Yeah, stay, like, well, no, stay still on what? Yeah, I can't stay still. <laughs> exactly. It's funny because the people who watch a lot of games are usually like move more. And then it's the yeah. players who don't know what's going on. They're like, you're moving too fast. Like, yeah, there's not a... Uh, oh, dude, especially in 2v2s, dude. I go fucking crazy, man. Dude, 2v2, 2v2 for me is no chance. 2v2, I just go, I just, I'm just, I just immediately drop into like talking about Red Alert 2 Theory, making yeah, up yeah, magazines, yeah. <laughs> making fun of Snark. There's just not even any time to follow the action, you know? It's impossible. <laughs> Uh, and I just realized that mine, yo, and Snark's dynamic is like me and Matt. It's very similar. 
You get a, like a one person just making noise, one person following plays. That's what it's all about. It's really, I mean, that's yeah. really the yeah. classic commentary, com- the color commentator, and then the play by play. That's really the the one two punch you need. Um, correct, correct. So your two v two, you just did the third place game. When's the first place game for your two v two tournament? Oh, it already happened, man. It oh. was a fucking banger of the game, dude. Wait, when that was, was that? That was on. It was uh, two days ago. I'm not gonna spoil it, so they can go back to my stream and dude, watch it if they want to. So many good <laughs> games lately, man. Um, yeah, we had a. Uh, is this going to pop up? Redalert2.com slash MJ. Check out his oh, Twitch. Um, and then also the Fortune Chaos YouTube channel. You can find both those links at Redalert2.com. Uh, yeah, we've had some crazy games because you had the uh, Marco Latoff game was a barn oh, burner. Oh, God. Crazy, yeah. crazy, 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 crazy. Yeah, every, every I mean, the last, I, I don't know whether Marco and Latoff have played quite a bit. Uh, the, the last two t- times they played was on the Showdown Crew Battle, that tournament that I ran, and on that show match, and both of them went the full 13 games. So it's, it's they're fucking nuts, man. I think Marco not being at the best at his best, and Latov being fucking good nowadays, kind of yeah. kind of played into that part as well. Yeah, Latov. Um, I, yeah, I kind of that's kind of my feeling right now. And, and again, I've talked about this before, but you know, when I first came into it, I used to be so frustrated. I wanted straight answers. I'm like, who's better, this person or this person? And everyone's <laughs> like, dude, depends on the day of the week, it depends on the game mode, depends on the rules, depends on the way which way the wind's blowing. And um, and I've started to really start to appreciate that. And when people say who's the best, I'm like, right now at this minute, because that's really how how quick a lot of these things do yeah, kind of shift. Yeah, it's really them. Close. But Latov, Latov for me is is definitely the player of the moment at the top level. But with mm-hmm. that being said, that's why it speaks to Marco. Because Marco yeah. it is, is, like you said, not at his best and still just like right there, just uh, inch yeah. for inch with, with Latov. And it's, that's what we call him the GOAT. So Cannon's out here for Quas playing France. Okay, let's, let's see what we got going on here. Quas playing a very <laughs> defensive France. Now his third Cannon out. Now walking into the center to get on some gems. Uh, how you feeling? You think you think uh, Legend need to get value earlier on here? How's Legend's position? Yeah, I I like I like the France pick for Quas. Uh, Dawn Apparel is a pretty big map, so... Compared to a map like uh, like the tournament D map, where it's a lot more smaller, so close quarters, so it has that punching power to punch through. But uh, Dawn of Peril, I'm gonna say the word again. France has a lot more wiggle room to play around with the cannons, and Legend doesn't necessarily have the ability to go early game pressure because uh, Quartz is gonna be able to see that coming a mile away because he's gonna be clicking left, right, and center and looking at Legend space constantly. I'm loving the V3s at the start. The V3s are the yep. number one thing you want to use to counter cannons and people don't actually use them quite a bit especially in 1v1s ffgs yeah. you see them a lot but not so much in 1v1s yeah yeah the v3 rockets i mean one of the few count few times at the top level you will see them is uh, against cannons the v3 rockets are funny to me it's almost like the developers were really scared about the v3 rocket being too good <laughs> because i mean look at it you're like you're like i mean look at its attributes it's slow it's weak and then the rockets can be countered by literally you know a rocketeer with a bb gun and so, yeah, yeah, I mean, like, I mean, they can, a couple of them fire, they can take down cans, they can be used good, but it's just so funny. It's like, if they just had a boost in any way, you know, like, they could be so much yeah, more viable. Yeah. And now the cannon's pummeling these miners. Legend on the ropes here. He's got his iron curtain out. Kirov's coming. Tough. I like the forward flat cannon to try to keep the Rocketeers off the Kirov, but, um... Oh, so busy, so. Yeah, I think Quas may be taking a page out of Luke D's book here. Uh, maybe he's gonna spam a couple of MCBs now, and he's right now what we what we what I call the cannon flow. That he's having good eco, has yeah. uh, maybe a couple of MCBs to better the cannon flow, and being able to produce cannons by the minute and by the second. That way, Legends has no chance of coming uh, forward unless he uses that IC or yeah. brings in a fuck ton of minor fodder. But it's not looking good for Legend at the moment. As, as you say that though, you know, this Kirov did a decent job punching back. Now Quas is yeah. fodder. Yeah. If Legend had some fodder in this group right now, he could consider trying to engage. Well, not if the Grizzlies stay in, the Grizzlies have to stay in the zone of the Grand Cannon. Now we're gonna pull that Kirov out. I think it is gonna, <laughs> oh my gosh, does keep that Kirov alive by a thread. Um, but that Kirov did buy Legend a little bit of time, but you're right, where does the offensive power come from? Now, as you guys, as as you just mentioned there, the multiple MCV thing with France, um, multiple MCVs allow you to build faster with your base walk, and of course, um, it makes it harder for your opponent just to dive in with an IC and take out your MCV to try to slow you down. And the uh, Kirov goes yeah. down. And the Legend this, getting, huh? Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. I think Legend, the, the one thing that Quas isn't doing here is having enough tanks. Because he only has some one war factory on it. He could use a couple more and nice IC there from Legend yeah. to counter. And now Quas is gonna you know, sort of run with it, his tail between his legs. Nice split. He can get the IC out by then, but oh yeah, he, he ideally could... needed a lot more war factories in this stage. 
he does get that IC finds a little bit of, he nice. does get some value there. Yeah, you're right. And I guess uh, he, that lack of tanks slowing down maybe his offensive efforts a little bit here, but still has the yeah. cans on the backside. So Legend, not too much counter potential. Oh, let's do a decent batch of Rhinos. Just so hard, man. The cans, a couple cans pummeling your tanks. And of course the uh, AOE damage on them, a bundle of tanks, man. It's it's tough. Another cure off from Legend. Yeah, that IC, I don't think that that IC was a throw, rather it was it was a good defensive IC. I think the timing wasn't great. Of course, decided to push as Legend popped that IC. But uh, yeah, you're, you're seeing the, the, the ability, of course, just to... You might have lost Ooh. the first couple of cannons there, but... Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice, Rockies. Yeah, Rockies on the backside. Yeah, and you kind of see this, uh, we've talked about it before, it's like playing, a, you know, a top level, top level Yuri, a top level France. It's one of those things yeah. where it's the same way. How, how do you take down a, a, a France like this? Same way you eat an elephant, you know, bite by bite, and you just kind of <laughs> have to keep going at it. And it's it's tough over time. You just have to keep chipping away. And so Legend did, I mean, he cut off, he cut, it's like a star, he cut off one leg, the starfish grew back three more. Yeah. You know, Quas yeah, right back yeah. in there. And of course, uh, uh, yeah, it's, and then losing that IC, of course. Yeah, Legend with very little left has to amputate that forward expansion. And um, yeah, I mean, Quas inch by inch here, Legend legend definitely in trouble. I, I think playing against a France player that plays like this, this is what I would call a Chinese uh, style of playing France. It's not necessarily, a Chinese style of playing France is, you would have uh, Luke Z playing a Chinese style of France would have four MCVs by now, six war factories. Yeah. And you have no way to come back from it. The multiple this, MCVs. This kind, of, yeah. this kind of thing, I think it's, it's like playing a Yuri on RE2. You have yeah. to keep going at it like bite and bite and bite, yeah, like you, you just, said. Yep. And, and if you don't, yeah. if you stop biting, your your arm's gonna come off. And I think Legend's arm is about to come off here. Yep. And now the cannons. That's his final holdout with the MCV. That's yeah. Now the cannons in range. Yeah. And um, obviously the IC is the gift that keeps on giving in that scenario. It's one of those things where inch by inch, oftentimes on the back of an IC. And of course, uh, Legend wasn't able to get that done. So well played from Quas here. This is gonna be Quas's second win with France. So uh, yeah, these guys get, getting a little weird here, man. Regular Riddler two Allied versus Soviet. You love to see it. You know, I think. You know, I come from that time period where we used to say no France, no Yuri 20 years ago uh, because <laughs> yes, yes. because you would turtle, right? You know, you would just turtle yeah. in. But this sort of offensive style, the way the top level players use France, I'm a huge fan of this, man, because I like the things to be a yeah. little different. I like a little, nice little um, deviation from the standard Rhino versus Rhino. Yeah, uh, that being said, I don't think it's over for Legend just that he still has a chance that he rebuilt that IC oh, on top, right? Wait, no way, I, really? I, yeah, I mean... I'm, I'm more, I'm wondering why Quas hasn't split up to get the warp edges on the right side because they are completely open. And and Legend keeps the MCV alive. He has the Iron Curtain. He's got 5k in the bank. How many miners does he have left? Oh my gosh. Uh, I just much. don't know, but it's like, what does it look like for Legend to yes. get through <laughs> this? I mean, this elephant, he's still got a whole elephant to eat. He's like, he's like, he's only finished off maybe one toenail. <laughs> like, <laughs> but Legend doing a great job yeah. going full cockroach right now, making Jimmy. Mean, it's not, he's not, he's not going down without a fight. I like it. Uh, yeah, starfish think... do grow back limbs. Yes, they do. You cut off one star starfish leg, mm -hmm. it grows it back. Is it like a, I know, I know a lizard can grow back its tail, right? Yeah, yeah, they do, yeah. And then, then they purposefully, you know, like you step on that, like a predator steps on its tail, it just drops it off, ha-ha, runs away. Yeah. That's how lizards laugh, in case I'm Yeah. Uh, Where's that MCV order? Oh my gosh, this MC... <laughs> the Iron Curtain Sneaky. coming. Now, uh... But, you know, I like the discipline from Quas here. You know, we talked about that, you know, so mm -hmm. many times. Sometimes, you get ahead and you have to extract a value. And if you don't, yeah. the other player's gonna even it out. In this case, Quas could easily uh, throw an open field battle versus Rhinos. Of course, that's always an issue when you have Grizzlies, and it's not <laughs> worth it. It's not worth it. You know, he he can he can he can afford, I think, to slow down this a little bit. I mean, obviously, it's a one to get Legend get to get established, but there's no reason for Quas to get reckless here. I don't think. Yeah, the and in, in in the Chinese style of France play, they don't often go aggressive. Rather, they they choke their opponent out and and just like bleed them dry. Yeah. Uh, as I know that very well because Luke Z held me hostage in a show match between Ludo <laughs> where the game went on for almost 45 minutes and it's on this exact map or I think no it wasn't it was another, another map but it's it's fucking hell man for, for a caster it's hell because yeah. Matt would have been shouting by now just kill him just kill him but honestly this is the right play to do you want to choke your opponent out you don't want to get reckless like you said yeah. and just eventually force Legend to quit and it's it's mentally draining as well don't oh, get me wrong, that's, it's fucking mentally oh, training. I, can't, I certainly, yeah, Luke Z, definitely kind of those kind of players. Um, that's funny, yeah, holding streamers hostage. Yeah, one time uh, Loka and Snark were playing a Yuri versus Yuri, 
and it was like I think 40 minutes oh, in, and you know Lord. me, I had like four more matches, tournament matches that day. I just <laughs> left them. I'm like, yo, let me know who wins. I just left. <laughs> Drone hit to try to clean out some of these grizzlies. Quas gonna take a bite. Oh, the Rockies get the nuclear reactor. Certainly, that was a nice move. Nice. Um, yeah. Now the Rockies pretty much uncontested. Clicks down that flag track. No anti-air in this group. Quas can pull back to his cannon. Let the Rockies continue to hunt here. Cleans up the split bottom side. Yeah, now the Rockies. Yeah, no anti-air in this group. I, I, I fucking hate YVY, man. It's one of the. That's the reason. That's the entire reason why I don't stream UE show matches. But yeah. it comes to UE versus UE. Uh, it just gets so fucking boring, man. Yeah, and I think that's, uh, I mean, that's the issue with a lot of these things. It's like, it's like, you know, it's fun. Like, I like it. I mean, the thing is, when people say, like, oh, you don't like Yuri, or you don't like this game, or you don't like engineers, or you don't like these players. Like, I like everything if it's cutthroat and action-packed. You know what I mean? But yeah. that's why I was yeah. saying earlier, like, yeah. I can do a best of 15 if players are at each other's throats. But if one player runs away with it, and I got to watch an 8-0, obviously, I, you know, don't have the energy for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is it, guys. So Legend's fighting to stay alive. If Quas wins this, he sends the God of Thunder home. Uh, if Legend wins this... Uh, we're burning barns, match point nine. Either way, a uh, heck of a game so far. Big shout out to both these players. You know, Legend, I think these guys were in the, they were watching me, they were watching Latoff smack around Kian 4-0, and I think Kloss and Legend were like, okay, <laughs> we better bring, we better bring it this game. I think Ivor's about ready to break his keyboard if he has to watch another <laughs> terrible match. So these guys putting on a good show for us. Fun to see the allied uh, look cycling in as well. Um, so what do we think, MJ? What do we think? Legend, does Legend have what it takes Ooh. to swing it? Yeah, I mean, if if you're familiar with the Golden State series, uh, Golden State Freeway and Valley, this is a prone double drone map because of way, the way the, the oils and the, the gems are, are spread out. Uh, you will most likely have a position where you have two miners on two different gem patches at the same time. So you want to have two drones to drone both of the miners and hope that your opponent isn't quick enough to build the second service able to repair that other, other miner that was droned. Oh, 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 that drone could have taken that engineer, huh? No, no. Yeah. Uh good swap shit from Quas. There you go, there's one drone. A second goes into the Rhino, okay. Yeah, that wasn't a second miner available there. But go to say freeway, most often than not, a lot of the engagements happen towards the bottom right where legends of our Quas's war factory is. So we're not gonna see much along the top side. I don't know why this happens, but it always happens. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. That it's like eighth wonder of the world. Yeah, it's funny. Like, I mean, maps like this that aren't perfectly symmetrical. Of course, a, a, a red alert two map can't be symmetrical corner to corner because of the way that the different features lay out. But it is interesting mm -hmm. how players just naturally uh, kind of build, you know, uh, incline or lean towards a certain direction on a map, even if it's perfectly symmetrical. Even on a perfectly mirrored map, you'll still yeah. see it. Legend yeah. trying to get some value here needs to be careful. You see Quas and Legend doing such a good job, not getting caught, pummeling that oil, and then getting blindsided, clicking off so nicely, and dances away from that sentry nice. gun. Legend, man, I can, I, you know, you know a legend, right? Legend's dialed <laughs> in, man. I, I'm yeah. feeling this one for legend. I think we're gonna be burning a barn here. Yeah, I was waiting for that sentry gun from Quas, but I guess he he waited for that uh, refinery to be up and then put the sentry gun down. Or maybe yeah. he didn't have it ready. This is, a, this is nice for a legend. Quas now legend building it towards the bottom as well. So they're not sticking towards the bottom side here where they will spam Connie's and rush in. This is a little bit more calculated from both of them. We're not seeing any MTB cells either. Yeah, I think I think both these guys. Yeah, you really you really feel the um the amount of respect they're giving each other. Not not taking really any <laughs> risks right now. Just uh just playing trying to play it as tight as possible. And you really feel you're just walking on razor thin margins in these kind of games yeah. early on like this. It's so difficult to appreciate. But man, you get caught clicking a building for an extra second. The opponent's tanks come in and blindside all of yours. You will lose the game. It's GGS, you yeah. know. <laughs> and you have to just be so so on the click here. Really? Yeah, I'm loving, I'm loving this forward uh, Barretts from Quas. He can get some fodder in up and early. Legend has a second Barretts early on as well. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it, it is pretty razor thin. I, I wouldn't say that someone has the lead because they're pretty much even at this stage. I don't know why Quas's drone went right at the start. I, I think it went into a Rhino. It didn't really go into a Miner. Yeah. But if, if, if it goes on like this, I think they'll, they'll be pretty on edge because they'll be left with only the gold in, at the back of their base and in the other corners. The gems will be pretty much depleted by then. Legend does have a War Factory advantage right now. Quas on one. We've seen this a few times in their series. We've seen series Ooh. where Legend gets ahead on the War Factories. Uh, we've seen one game where he was ahead on, you know, three to four War Factories and ended up winning. Another game where he was ended up losing. But most series, we have seen Legend go over to that other War Factory earlier. Uh, Quas in this case, opting for a little bit more of a fodder advantage now over to his second War Factory. Legend mm -hmm. now on his third, though. So Legend still with a War Factory advantage. Yeah, third War Factory sell. 
So he gets that final Hail Mary of a War Factory and then sell that MCV to yep, MCV. a bit of an eco boost and balance out the production at the same time. Oh, sell the War Factory that close. Quas amputates. Yikes. Now Quas is up an MCV, so he can afford, he could, he could consider trying to slow this game down, right? He can consider, there's moves where he can do, you know, he could try to get into a late game, but but uh, but at the same time, when your opponent sells the MCV, has a War Factory advantage, Legend's gonna be bringing the pressure here. Can Quas hold the line? Legend going hunting. Yeah, oh. there you go. Quas sell this MCV as well with that uh, second War Factory. Oh yeah, oh, he did, I'm okay. I'm lacking the tank control here from Legend. Yep. Quas is, oh, yikes. Damn, yeah, yeah, Quas got his tail just cut off there. Legend, yep, yep, yep. Very nice. And Legend cleaning up here. Yeah, so Quas was forced to sell that MC. <sighs> and Legend, and so in that kind of game, right, you're looking at a game where you're both playing the same style, but your other opponent, your opponent's just a little bit ahead, right? So all of a sudden you yeah. find yourself, oh, he's selling his MCV, I'll sell my MCV, but you're playing catch up like that. Legend setting the tempo for the game, taking home that point. We're Burnin' Barnes, boys. Burnin' Barnes. Love the leg. My dragon's a yeah. lagger? Oh my god, heartbreak, boys. And, Here we and are. The, and the dragon. Match point. It is 4-4. It is best of nine. Winner takes it home. These guys managed to their throats, put on a good show for us. Uh, quick reminder, guys, as always, if you're enjoying this content, uh, RedAlert2.com is a place to be. If you guys want to get back into the game, you're watching this, you're saying, hey, I haven't played in 20 years, da 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 We got a division for you. We run tournaments every month. New players are welcome. Come join the phone. It's going to be awesome. We got cash prizes. Uh, look at the conscripts coming right in. I love it. Oh, Quas I love oh it. he was trying to steal. Oh! oh! <laughs> Legend gets in first. Quask blows right through the gate with those conscripts. Going to try to steal some of Legend's buildings. That would have been very, very annoying. Does have to bring them back. Doesn't work, but very, very close. Um, and as always, guys, uh, Redler2.com. Also, you can join the Discord, connect with the community, check out the Twitch, check out the YouTube. And you can donate. All the money that comes into the stream goes back into the stream, uh, goes towards next month's prize pool. Keeps me uh, keeps me growing, Redler2. RA2 to the moon, boys. More players watching, playing, and streaming Redler2. That's what it's all about. Okay. Legend Quas on this tiny map, close quarter combat. Who do you think, MJ? Gun to your head. If you're wrong, you die. Who are you going with? Quas. Uh, I've said it. I'm going with Quas. Going with I think Quas. Legend might fumble the bag here somehow. I yeah. think Quas is a lot more calm and composed in this kind of situations. Yeah, I think uh, I, I like that idea. I think we've seen um, I, we've seen Quas get a couple wins already on some of these like kind of small, goofy maps. I think we've already seen Quas. I think Quas has played those maps better today. I think the big kind of bigger macro maps, mm -hmm. Legend, done a little bit better. I like that idea oh, here. Nice. Flag, flag track, okay. And a lot, nice. a lot, a lot of little <laughs> random hit and runs so far. But as the dust settles here, neither player getting too much out of it. Um, man, these maps. Yeah, the, the reason they do is go flag drone because because of the bunkers at the start, the drone can't survive it. So they oh. go flag drone and then the, the flag is able to get through and then get in the drone like you saw there. And does get it done there. That flag track does drone that miner. So now a service depot needs to come for legend. Uh, yeah, so the flag track goes through the gates. Uh, and then that way, uh, that way, yeah, the, the, the little guard towers don't gun down the drones. Um, so legend gets the service depot out, does save that miner. Whoa, oh, sorry. <laughs> I saw that building destroying top right. I thought I, thought something, <laughs> I, thought I was missing something. A seal. <laughs> yeah, seal. <laughs> Both players just doing some landscaping here. A lot of stuff to clear out. Try to get some room to get that ideal build. Okay, so some early shenanigans. Nothing too crazy. Oh, as I say that, uh, Quas over to Battle Lab Tech here. Oh, and Legend as well. So both players, uh, very, very, very similar positions here. Yeah. On, on small maps like this, Tech is very much favored here. So just on, on the preface, we're going to see Kiros. We're going to see ICs. We're going to see drones here on this map. The so we've... Uh, oh. ICs, Kirov's so already early. Knowledge. Look at those, those those favorites there, guys. The favorites there. So Quas is the 60% favorite in this game. You guys are obviously death robot believers again, guys. This is coming off last month's tournament. Quas got 5 owed by Legend. So Quas is back at it, the death robot. He's hungry here. Brings that uh, Kirov coming. Flag tracks for Legend already to counter. Um, we'll see if Quas can support this Kirov at, at all. Man, I can't really go into those guard huts. Okay. Oh, this is going to be tricky. Oh, he does. Quas nice. tries to take a bite, tries to clean out a couple of... Yeah, gonna pull that Kirov back. No reason to send it to its death. Kirovs are expensive. Yeah, I think I think the, the thing that's gonna go well for Quas here is... Like I said alone, he's very calm and collected. So when uh, Legend tried to go with that early flag drone, all he did was... He delayed his flag drone and used that drone to drone the flag that came in from, from Legend. And because of that, he was able to get his flag drone up. Forces Legend to go to 7 point and that delayed the IC from Legend by quite oh a bit, God, but uh, I'm not sure how pushing all the through. And we do. So Legend Desos on the backside, oh, hops in, gets the MCV. Legend has Desos on the backside. Quas pulls back, doesn't accept the base trade. Now only three tanks into Legend's base. And now the defensive IC from Quas. What else can Legend get here? Quas has oh, a few the lab tanks. And the IC, surely. Yeah. Oh. Alting a War Factory. Quas's offensive tanks go down. 
But Quas, ooh, Quas bringing a counter punch now. Can Legend get over to drones? Legend now going to build some drones. This is a pretty heavy counter punch coming. Desolators and drones now for Legend. He's up in MCV. Up in MCV. Oh, and a defensive, a two nice. tank defensive iron curtain. The Desolators a little bit late. Quas bringing a miner. Oh, Quas bringing the miners. Quas going full send here. <laughs> Quas into the belly yeah, of the beast. Quas is going to try to take the IC out. The IC is going to go down for Legend, but it's going to take the IC and the lab out. So Quas is going to have an IC on his end. And he's just gonna be able to hold and, and at that stage. Nice snipe that I see. The Warfare, the, the MCV, sorry, is still there. So he could rebuild that by bringing the miners over. It's pretty risky, elite. Oh, the elite oh, the rhino. The, as well. Yeah, and when you start pulling the miners, that's when you know you're going full send. It, it, it costs all in on this attack. And he's getting, he's getting a lot of value here. Legend again, still up an MCV. If he can try to pull something out. Legend now using his miners to defend. <laughs> Oh god. Quas yeah, I think Quas what mainly he was doing here, trying to get Legend IC on and buy time for his own IC. You see his IC is not ready, so Legend's gonna either face this IC right now or he's gonna get a fuck ton of IC droned in his own rhinos. This is gonna be hard for Legend. This is tough, Legend, yeah. Quas doesn't have that many tanks, unfortunately he has more. And uh, now nice desolator though from Legend. Oh he ICs the MCV! Oh, no! <laughs> he ICs the MCV! Oh, god. And that the oh, his, his hope there was to get rid of the MCV before Legend could rebuild his IC, but now Legend has, he could rebuild that. The IC, um, MCV could have died oh, and the IC wouldn't have been my rebuilt. God. And that's tough. I mean, it's, a, it's the radius, you know, you're in the heat of battle, sweaty hands, yeah. drops the IC, ICs the MCV, and that gives Legend, um, that's exactly the, le the mistake Legend needed to get back in this. Quas, ever since losing that MCV, has applied so much pressure and done so many things right, but one mistake like that, and... Uh, yeah, Legend. And Quas still has Battle Lab Tech. He's oh, going to bring a Kira off. Quas on double nuclear reactors also spread out. Interesting to note. Legend can't just make a yeah, dive, try to cut off the power. Very tempting if there was one. But with two, Quas in a decent position. He's got the IC. He's only got one War Factory. One War Factory. Good economy. Barracks. IC. Quas doing some yeah, landscape. I think the, 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 one, the one chance that Legend has right now is to wait for his IC and then dive for the War Factory. I even alt it. And at that point, yeah. he, can just, he can just hold, but look at the Yuri clones now going up on Quas. Oh my gosh, Quas is on his last leg. Quas sure. is building Yuri clones. He's using the miners. And the miner, pulling miners into the battle, and then being the kind of player who can be like, okay, time to bring them back to work. I mean, it's one thing to go full send and send everything downfield like a wild man, but then to bring them back yeah. and continue with the game is hilarious. Offensive Iron Curtain matched by a defensive Iron Curtain. Uh, the cure off for Quas working through. Uh, Le and Legend. Yeah, you're right. Legend can Legend could definitely consider diving on this war factory, but yeah. But Quas. Oh, that's tough, man. This is tough. For Ooh, Quas. Quas has a lot of smoking rhinos right now. Quas yeah, just quits out. Go. Yeah, tough. Rough. Rough. Tough. I think I, Legend Legend did a good job at and diving for the MCV, and that mistake actually down for the MCV is finally enough a mistake that Legend would make. Yeah. But this time Quas makes that mistake. It's uh, well played by Legend. Well played. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, very, very nice. Klaus with the gifted sub, appreciate it. Yeah, and so, and that's one of those things too where like, was that game totally lost for Klaus, right? If you just took a screenshot and said who, you know, it's not a total losing position. However, with that uh, mistake, you have to factor in that to like where you're at mentally. And after mm -hmm. that mistake, um, uh, well, that would break that would break a lot of players. You know, it's it's tough to come back with after you lose that kind of momentum on a on a mistake like that with the IC.